All right, we're back. And now we are in Joyce and William's room, and we have the syringe in our hand. Don't mind me, Joyce, just snooping through your stuff. Oh, no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is snowing s Wait, showing. God, my sight. It's showing signs of a rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Jeez. That's terrible. Joyce. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Let's talk about Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max. You're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she, she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. William still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. Sounds cool. Well, life without him kind of sucks because you marry a jackass. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Oh, David. Let's talk Do you about know David. somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, He's I, not cute. I, I was just... And he's not quiet. Curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. A lot of work? Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Well, apparently we're like best friends, so. So. Don't know. What do you think? How to reply to that one? With all of this eco havoc. Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, ah, honey. Why? Don't rewind. Is there any more to snoop around? Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. What's that picture? 
That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. Probably you. There's gonna be like a vibrator in there. So hard. He's still awesome. Well, I guess no vibrator, just a picture. Okay, let's go back down to Chloe because something tells me she's dead now. <laughs> uh, it took me like 30 minutes just to just get a syringe. <gasps> Dear God! Stop yawning. Are you alive? You don't look alive. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? My um, mother is outside my door if you hear stop her. Stop me I'm if sorry. I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please. My diary is like emo ground zero. Why are you talking Plus, about Max emo? Emo so 2006. Pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Ah! Hello, Bucky. Five, four, four, five hundred and forty-four. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my God! Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Have to click every time just to turn Whoa, the page. Awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh, phone's ringing. Hold on. Well, it's not ringing. It's just going off. Okay, turn page. Oh, man. There we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally, oh, is that the seems photo? Like yesterday. I wish it was. Me That's too. the photo we went back in time this photo. with. Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Um, are you saying you want me to kill you? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Um, yeah, and your parents would fucking murder me. Oh, don't make me cry. Don't make me emotional. I can't do this. No! Oh my god! Why? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, 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 okay. Let's analyze this real... Okay. Let's analyze this real quick. 
I understand. No, I don't understand how she feels. I know that if it were me, I would want someone to end my life as well. So a part of me wants to click accept because I feel terrible. But at the same time, if I do that, I am going to devastate both of her parents forever. They'll probably murder me and chase me out of the house with a fucking rifle. Yes, a rifle, because that's the gun I chose. But if I refuse, then Chloe's just going to suffer. If I say I don't know, oh my god. Oh god. If I refuse, I'm going to feel like a shit friend. Because I know I'd want someone to put me out of my misery, but at the same time, it's such a big burden to put on one person. I'm just going to say I don't know. I can't. Oh god. I'm, oh my god. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Let's go back in time. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. Oh, I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please, help me, Max. Oh, oh God, stop, stop, stop. Oh, God. Fuck it. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. Oh, this is terrible. Why? Oh. I really don't want to do it, but I know that if it were me... God, my parents are going to murder me! They're going to murder me. I'm going to end up like one of the fucking whales on the beach. Oh. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Oh. Don't forget about me. Never. Oh my god, I'm gonna Love start you, crying. See you around. Sooner than you think. No. Why? Oh my god. This is no, I'm not. Oh, fuck this. We're going back in time. Look at the damn photograph, Max. Don't be an idiot. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. Oh, God. Look at the damn photo. Photo. Focus on the photo. I'm sorry, William. Oh. Okay, how do I do this again? Um. Oh yeah, analog sticks. There we go. Got it. Great. He's gotta kill her dad. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course. <sighs> Gonna go back to the other reality. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max. Oh! Why would you do that? Now we now there's absolutely no fucking chance of us ever going back in time to change anything. That makes all of us. What if 
What if the reality gets changed? Ugh. 